back in the garage with Gas Pump Rob. In today's video feature, I plan on, in real time, choosing one of these three pumps, taking it apart, and actually getting it to run. Let's see how this goes. This is not practice, so I'm not sure, just bear with me. And let's have a little fun tonight. I plan on choosing the center pump, the Wayne 60 Narrow. I've always had an eye for that pump. It's basically farm fresh from out here in California. Let's see what we can do. Okay, the first step, we're going to remove the panel. Okay guys, this is not a paid advertisement, but these particular products really help a project like this. PB Blaster, we use this all the time at our automotive shop to break loose frozen fasteners. And Stabil Fogging Oil, which as you read right here, lubricates and protects cylinders. Well, these pumps have been sitting for many years. They need some kind of lubrication. Sometimes you turn them on and they sound just awful, but we spray this up into the pumping unit while it's running and it starts freeing things up real nice. I just wanted to share these products with you. Thank you. Okay guys, the first thing I do is find out whether or not the pumping mechanism, this is the pump by the way for anybody that may not know, electric motor and metering unit. Um, we need to find out if this pump is frozen. I'm gonna put some channel locks on it. <clears throat> okay, it's a little tight. Okay, first thing I do is I get my PB blaster. Shaft the best that I can. And then I get down on a moving blanket and I spray it up into the pumping unit. Along with the fogging oil. It's a little messy, but it's okay. And then we're gonna work it. Usually the motors are free. We'll see what happens here. Starting to move. Okay, we're getting somewhere. sit for a minute or two and then spray a little bit more and work it. Okay guys, I waited about 10 minutes. I'm getting a little impatient. I freed up the pump unit the best I could without actually disassembling it. To do this right, obviously, you would pull the pump unit out, take it apart on a bench, clean it, lubricate it, check all the seals, probably replace the seals and put it back together, especially if you want to pump fluid through it. Um, so this is a fun video tonight. We just want to see this thing run. It's probably going to sound awful because there's still a squeak in the pump unit, as you can hear. 
Maybe once it runs a little, it'll go away. I, spot, I sprayed a lot of fogging oil into a vent up above. That'll work its way down in there. And let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna hook my extension cord up to these wires. Now, you may not wanna try this at home. The power's off, by the way. If I just get them firmly mounted in there, the right way would be to have a box with wire nuts and do it properly. But like I said, this is just a, a fun video tonight. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Okay, I just plugged the other end of the extension cord into power. We're gonna grab, this is the on-off rod to the electric motor. Let's lift it up and see what we have here. Yes! She's running. <laughs> Obviously that belt needs to be tightened up. What I'm going to do is spray more fogging oil in there with it running very carefully here. actually starting to sound a little better. But there you have it, a running gas pump. This wasn't pre-planned. Just worked out great. Look how loose that belt is and it still pumps. I hope all of you enjoyed this video tonight. I certainly enjoyed filming. I hope you enjoyed watching that Wayne 60 start up and run tonight. If you think about it, wouldn't it be cool to actually have a pump that actually pumps something and not just spins and runs? Well, that is what we have here as a continuation of this video. As you can see, we have a Bowser Barley Century here. The story behind this pump is I bought it at Iowa Gas one year. And it came out of a bulk plant somewhere near Omaha, is what I was told. Well, I had a friend help me, and it is completely rebuilt from the ground up. Even though it was super clean, this is almost like factory paint. It might have been resprayed once. But uh, I had a friend take the pumping unit out. He went through it completely. He went through the entire pump. It's been rewired, everything, and tonight you will have a chance to see it actually run and pump antifreeze. I hope you enjoy the last segment of this video on the pump set run and pump. As you can see, we have a custom built pancake tank welded together out of steel that the pump is mounted to. And then we have a filler pipe that comes up with a cutout here and a clear cylinder so you'll be able to see the antifreeze flowing as this pumping unit pumps. So we're gonna unscrew this cap. Just wanna open the door so you can look under the hood here original Leland motor pumping units down in there it's hard to see it has the original uh, factory maintenance and oiling instructions on the back of the door some of it's missing but it's cool you can see the original red paint you got a brass nozzle and the vis gauge as you can see this gauge will always stay full of fluid, that way you know you have accurate delivery. Stay tuned for this pump in action. As most of you know by now, I do not have the luxury of a camera crew. All of these videos are self-done, self-produced, 
The nozzle is sitting in the filler pipe, which leads to the bottom tank. I am now going to turn the pump on so it will idle without pumping. Hear the pump running. Now I'm going to trigger the nozzle. See that antifreeze flowing. What a beautiful pump. Sounds beautiful. On, off. We can throttle it a little bit. Reset it back to zero. Start over again. Beautiful. Well, there you have it, a working Varley Century clock face gas pump made by the Bowser Pump Company. Final chapter of this video for tonight is a Bowser 311 twin. In primer, ready for a patina paint job.